All right, so now we're all ready to finally answer the mystery of the newt. And how did a poison level trait that wasn't present in the newt population become the most common trait? So, this is a histogram we'll be considering at four different time points. The population 200 generations ago, 50 generations ago, 40 generations ago, and the population today. The writer discuss, label the traits for the population 200 generations ago. Label the traits for the population 50 generations ago. Label the traits for the population 40 generations ago. And now label the traits for the population today. Okay, now here's the big part. Now that you have a fully annotated histogram, explain how your model answers this question. How did a poison level trait that wasn't always present in the new population become the most common trait? So that's a wrap for natural selection. Next time, how do species change over time? And you'll find that out in evolutionary history part one. So from me, the kitty, and all of your teachers, we miss you. We know we're doing great and hope to see you again soon. So thank you and signing off from the Fortress of Science. No, kitty, no, no, okay, ah, uh, she's done, she's done.